so with our real gist with Mode. For today's gist, a female job seeker was raped and murdered by supposed employer. Miss Morin, a fresh graduate from the University of Uyo, had earlier dropped a tweet on her handle seeking for job and had received many replies in that regard. She wrote, Uyo Twitter please, I'm really in need of a job, something to do to keep mind and soul together while contributing dutifully to the organization. My location is Uyo, I'm creative, good at critical thinking, most importantly, a fast learner. She was allegedly invited by a young man who raped her, killed her, and buried her body in a shallow grave. Mr. Akwan is seeking precisely. The labor market today is filled with different types of persons parading themselves as employers of labor. Some are real, while others are fake. The true intentions of these so-called employers of labor are often hidden. This calls for diligence on the part of job seekers so that they are not taken undue advantage of. A true job seeker should or will focus on the subject matter of the invitation for the job. Where the subject matter is changing to something else, the job seeker should know that the employer's intention may not be genuine. Job seekers should be, you know, cautious and vigilant of the environment they are invited for job interview. For example, if a plastic company invites you for an interview, please go online and make research concerning the company. Even though bloggers might make it look beautiful. Now, when you get to the environment, the vicinity, the road, purposefully ask questions. Please, I'm looking for number three, Allen Street or Road, where plastic is being produced or I'm looking for a place where plastic is being produced. If there is actually something like that happening on that road, in that street, you know, you will be shown the address. But a case where they say this is the address, but I don't think anything is being produced there. Please run for your life. Don't go in. Don't give yourself the impression. Let me just go in and see. Maybe something good will come out. Lack of employment in the country today has led to several dehumanizing treatment on job seekers. Some of the hazards they face is sexual harassment, rape, ritual killings, human trafficking, and so on. Now, Mr. Akban himself is not an employer of labor, but a con man who took advantage of Ms. Moran's joblessness and desire to have a job to invite him for an interview meanwhile his intentions were hidden. Mr. Akpan's actions are truly and highly condemnable. He, under the pretense of offering this girl a job that never exists, invited her, raped her, killed her. Now, to prevent the long arm of the law from catching up with him, he buried her in a shallow grave. These are grievous and capital offenses, and it's against humanity and the state. Mr. Akman should be prosecuted and convicted as this would deter others. This is all on free gist for today. Please subscribe, share.